Okay, YouTube, hope everybody's doing good. This is my video on how I'm going to wire up my panels. Might help some people out there that don't know how to do it. I'm not a professional. This is just how I do mine. Anybody can do theirs the same way, but this is what I'm going to do. Okay, what we got here, these panels are, see if you can see that, 230 watts, they are 7.84 amps, the open circuit on it is 36.8, so you got 36.8 on this one, 36.8 on that one, and 36.8 on that one. I always like to round mines up to 40 to make sure that I don't go over the max allowment of the inverter that you're using. So what I'll do is, that says 38, I mean 36.8, I round it up to 40. So you're talking about 40, 80, 120. You come over here to your inverter, and this is my my pip that I'm going to be putting in, and you get a shot of focusing right there where it say solar charger. You got rated current, 80 amps, system voltage, 24 VDC. You got minimum solar voltage is 20 VDC. And you have maximum solar voltage, which is 145. So that's why I round mine's up. This inverter, you can't go over 145. So I round it up. That'll make 120. Make sure I stay up under that 145 that the inverter is rated. So how do you get your 145 volts? You have... Right here, see that is red. This red one is positive. Positive is going to go there. You got blue right here, which is negative. Your negative is going to go there. This positive here is going to come and go all the way into the inverter. This negative here is going to come across. It's going to come down. And it's going to come into this positive here. This negative right here is going to come all the way out. And it's going to come in to this positive right here. Then this negative is going to go into the inverter. But I'm going to have two strings, which would be three panels in one string, three panels in another string. So... I'm going to have these three panels here run in series. The next three panels will be run in series. And then you're going to parallel them two into the inverter. When you run in series, your amps stay the same. And your volt goes up. You're going to have 120 volts on this set of panels on this string and 120 volts on that string. When you parallel them together, that's going to keep the volts at 120, but it's going to raise your amps. It's going to double the amps. So this is, I rounded it up to 8 amps. This is going to be 8 amps. The other stream is going to be 8 amps, which is going to make this 16 amps at 120 volts. So basically, that's how you do it. Now what I have here is my crimping tube right here to crimp the ends onto the wire. You got your wire here, and this wire is, let's see, it's a uh, focus in there. This wire is number 10 wire rated at 600 
No, it's rated at a thousand votes. Wait a minute, I'm focusing. Yep, right there, a thousand votes. So you can run a thousand votes through this wire, and it's number focus. Man, hang on, I keep messing around. Number ten. Number ten wire. A W G. Okay, I'm gonna pause it and get it ready for you to see how to crimp the end zone and get this wire to the length that you need it. Be right back. Okay, YouTube. This is what you're going to have. You're going to have a wire like this. You need to strip this off back about a half an inch. Then you're going to take your little fitting right here. You're going to slide that little fitting over the end of the wire and push it on all the way. There you go, like that. Then what you're going to do is take your clampers. I like to start off with the big one. I cramp it with the big one first. Get on in there. And squeeze it all the way. Then I come back with the small one. To finish it. And that should be sufficient. Now it's cramped on nice and tight. Now, what you're going to do is uh, heck, I got the got to take it off of this one here. I put it on the other end. You got your piece here. That's going to go on first. Then you got this piece here is going to go on. Make sure that the little tab ends go on first. And the closed end goes up onto here. You're going to slide that on and you're going to push it till you hear it click. There it goes. It clicked. Now it's on there nice and tight. Then you push this up on there. Like that. And then you bring this on. Tighten it down. And once you get that tight, that one will go in right here. Then you're going to go from here over to that negative, over to that one. Let me pause it and I'll come right back. Okay, we're at the other panel, which is the first panel. Now, we done clipped it down. I like to leave enough. See about how much I've got. I like to leave a little play, just in case. And that's going to go into there. So we're going to unplug that one. See, that one's blue. And... This one is red, so you're going to come out of that ground and going to come to the second panel positive. Okay, so now we're getting back to this again. We got the end here. Going to screw that off, slide it on. Then we got that. We're going to put that on. There we go. Let's see, put that on there. All right. Now, let me grab another end here. Got the end here. You're going to push that on. There we go. Push it down as far as it'll go. Then we got the crampers here. Start off with the big one again. Cramp it. Go to the next size. Missing it. All right, we're in the next size. Go to the next size. Cramp it on down. Tighten it down. Now, 
She's on there nice and tight. Now, you're going to take this. You want to push that till you hear it click. And there it goes. It clicked nice and tight. Now, come back. Push this in. And get that down on there. This is what make your watertight seal. Now, that's on there. You tighten it down. Okay, once you get it tightened down, that's going to plug into there just like that. So, you're going to come out of that negative. You're going to come around, and you're going to come into this positive. And you're going to come out of that negative. You're going to go around, and you're going to come into that positive. Okay, let me go on and finish these, and I'll be right back with you. Okay, finished it up. What we got is you're going to have this one right here. That's going to be your positive. This is going to go back to your inverter. So you're going to come off of here and go all the way back to your charge controller. I keep saying inverter because mine is an inverter with the charge controller and everything built into it. But this is going to go back to your charge controller. This is the negative. That negative is going around and coming into that positive on the second panel. Then that negative is going around, coming into the positive on the third panel. Let me step back and you can see. So you got that first one over here is positive. Second one is negative. So you're coming off that negative over to this one which is positive, then you're coming off that negative over to this one, which is positive, and then you have your last one left, which is right there, which is a negative, and that's going to go back to your charge controller. So that one and that one over there is going to come to your charge controller, and it's going to come in right here to positive, negative, where it says PV input. And then I have six more because I'm going to have 12 panels. This right here is called series parallel. This is series. And then when you do your other three panels in series, and then you're going to parallel that first stream of panels, which is this one, to the second stream of panels, which would be the next one identical to this. And they'll be parallel where the positive and positive will go together and the negative and negative will go together. And then it'll come and go to your charge controller into the PV input. When you series like this, you're raising the voltage and the ampage is staying the same. So when I did this, I rounded off at 8 amps. So you have 8 amps out of all three of these panels. Then you're going to have 8 amps out of your second stream, all three of them panels. Then you're going to parallel them together where you're going to put the positive and the positive together and the negative and the negative together. And that's going to double the amps. So this stream here will be 8. That stream over there will be 8. And it'll come back to the charge controller with 16 amps and 120 volts. So that's how you do it.